Welcome to an application of solving a linear Diophantine equation. How can you make $6.37 using just 5 cent and 8 cent stamps? What is the smallest and largest number of stamps you could use? To begin, we need a Diophantine equation. We will work in numbers of cents. Let x equal the number of 5 cent stamps and y be the number of 8 cent stamps. This gives us the equation 5x plus 8y equals 637. Notice how the equation cannot be simplified. For the next step, we set up a congruence. Notice the coefficient of x is five and the coefficient of y is eight. Using the smaller coefficient of five, we set up a congruence modulo five, which is five x plus eight y is congruent to 637 mod five. This is true because, this is true because for all the integer solutions for x and y, if we divide the left side of the equation and the right side by five, the remainder would be the same. And now we solve the congruence. Because we have mod five, we can add and subtract multiples of five. Because five x is congruent to zero mod five, we can subtract five x from five x, which gives us zero x. Because five y is congruent to zero mod five, we can subtract five y from eight y, which gives us three y. And because zero is congruent to 635 mod five, we can subtract 635 from 637, which gives us two. Simplifying, notice how the x term drops out and we have three y is congruent to two mod five. From here, we want to solve for y by dividing both sides by three. However, two is not a multiple of three because we have modulus five. We now add multiples of five to two until we have a multiple of three. And I've shown the work here on the left. Notice if we add two multiples of five to two, we get 12 and 12 is a multiple of three or divisible by three. And since two times five is 10, and zero is congruent to 10 mod five, we now add 10 to two, which gives us the congruence, three y is congruent to 12 mod five. And now I can divide both sides by three. Just remember, when we divide both sides by three, we also need to divide five by the greatest common divisor of three and five, though in this case, it is just one. And therefore, we divide three y by three, 12 by three, and five by one, which gives us y is congruent to four mod five. Writing this as an equation, we have y is equal to four plus five k, where k is some integer. So to determine x, we substitute four plus five k back into the original equation for y, which gives us five x plus eight times the quantity four plus five k equals 637. Solving for x, we have x equals 121 minus eight k, where again, k is an integer. Now that we have x and y, we can determine the smallest and largest number of stamps that can be used to make $6.37. Let's do this on the next slide. Looking at the equations, if we let k equal zero, one way to make $6.37 is to take 121 of the five cent stamps and four of the eight cent stamps. Again, this is when k equals zero, just one possibility. To find the smallest and largest number of stamps, we need to try different values of k, some of which are shown in the table. To have the most number of stamps means we have as many five cent stamps as possible and the least number of eight cent stamps. To have the smallest number of stamps would require having the least number of five cent stamps and as many eight cent stamps as possible. To minimize the number of five cent stamps and find the smallest number of stamps, we want to pick k so that x equals 21 minus k is as small as possible but still positive. This might take some work but when k is equal to 15, we have x equals 121 minus eight times 15, which is equal to one. So when k is equal to 15, we do have the least number of five cent stamps, which means y is equal to four plus five times 15, which is equal to 79. So if we have the least number of five cent stamps, then we have the most number of eight cent stamps. This gives us the fewest number of stamps possible. Therefore, to make $6.37, you can use as few as 80 stamps, one five cent stamp and 79 eight cent stamps. To minimize the number of eight cent stamps and find the largest number of stamps, we let k equal zero. Notice when k equals zero, y is equal to four plus five times zero or four. This is the minimum number of eight cent stamps. Notice we try to use k equals negative one, y would be negative, which is not possible. And when k is equal to zero, x is equal to 121 minus eight times zero, or just 121. Therefore, to make $6.37, you 
you can use as many as 125 stamps, meaning 121 5-cent stamps and 4 8-cent stamps. I hope you found this helpful.